Good morning. Welcome to our time of spiritual transformation. Today is Friday, August 28th. I hope that you are ready for the weekend, ready to get a little rest and just enjoy the time that's coming. Today's topic is this, the worst day of my life. So I was really kind of thinking about this this morning and wanted to share, um, what's the worst day of your life? What's the worst thing you've ever experienced? When I look back over my life, I think what's interesting is you could have several different days that you might pick for that, right? I mean, I think back, you know, one of the worst days of my life was the day that my mother died um, when I was about 14 years old. Um, burying her was not a good day. I look over days that have come and passed um, throughout my life. Um, Angel and I will tell you we've had marriage struggles. There were days that were really, really hard during that time. Um, there were days that were really hard in running a business. There was a point when I opened up my business that my former employer sued me for two and a half million dollars. And I always tell people that's not something that we have to pay. Um, and one of the things that's interesting about hard times, about saying, hey, this was the worst day of my life. This was the hardest thing I've ever been through is that in every single one of those circumstances, what I found is that God was planting a seed inside of me to create transformation that I needed to be the best in everything that I could be today. And so as we sit in the middle of the season of COVID and really just kind of life being completely disrupted in a 2020 that no one ever expected, there are a lot of people kind of running around saying, well, this is the worst day of my life. This is the worst thing that ever happened. And I was looking in scripture today and I want to share the scripture with you and then kind of unpack it a little bit. This is in Romans 8, 28. And let me read this and let's come back and talk a little bit more about the worst days of our life. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. We know that in all things, God works for the good for those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So have you ever looked at the worst day of your life and been able to reflect back and say, you know what, that was good in one sense. It wasn't fun, it wasn't, but it was exactly an experience that I needed to go through so that I could be and lead and do what God needs me to do today. Without that experience, today I wouldn't be who I was. Without that experience, without that worst day of my life, I wouldn't be able to do what God has placed me into and to fulfill his calling. And how many times do we sit discouraged or frustrated by this worst day of our lives, not realizing that there is probably a gift sitting on the other side of it? And it's hard. I get it. But as we sit in this season and I just see everyone more and more anxious and carrying around this anxiety, I would ask you if what if you could turn this anxiety over and realize the blessing or the benefit of the experience that you're in and simply just ask the question with open hands of God, what's your intention? God, what are you doing? Because what I know, if I can trust your word, I know that all things God works for good. How many stories of our Bible heroes mm -hmm do we see where they are in the midst that they've been given a promise or they've seen something from God and yet they are in the midst of a terrible, terrible situation. The greatest example of this is Joseph, who the coat of many colors, who had a dream early on when he was very young that he would lead and he would be raised up to a higher position. And his brothers hated him and he gets sold into slavery. And if you haven't read the story in a while, you really need to go look at the whole story. It's in Genesis of and the account of everything that he went to until he was raised up into that position. God's promises have not left you. God's promises are not behind you. And even if you sit in the worst day of your life, what you can also understand is God may be transforming that and using that to transform you into exactly where he needs to take you and exactly what he needs to go through. Now, be very careful here. I'm not saying that God causes these things. But I also am saying that I don't know that God protects us from those things either because there are things we need to experience and we need to go through to give our best and to be our best for him. And so how do we do that? How do we sit in the middle of something that's really hard, something that brings just tears, something that has broken our spirit with a flicker of hope? 
with a light, just enough light to carry us through the darkness so that as we come out on the other side, we can go, you know what? God did use that for good. And here is the good that came out of that. I look at the experience of my life and everything that I went through younger. I will tell you this, and I don't know that we've talked about this a whole lot, but my mother's death, my father's bankruptcy, and everything that I went to led me into the career that I'm in today. God worked it all for good. I have the opportunity to speak into and transform lives because of everything that I went through in some of the darkest and worst days of my life. So how does God want to use you in your darkest and worst days of your life? And will you let him use you? Because here's what I know. We've got one lifetime. One. We get one shot through this thing, right? One life to live and create transformation that matters. What I also know is that there's so many people out there who are settling for just living a good life. They're just, it's just good, but they're not seeking better. They're not looking for transformation. They are simply just letting life come at them and not looking at the opportunities that God is putting in front of them. Our better lives are gonna be found when we seek the transformation for ourselves and our future every single day when we're willing to let God just transform us. So I ask you this again, always. Just don't settle for good. Keep chasing after better and understand that God works for good those that love him in every single circumstance. So what I want you to type up inside of, the, inside of everything today is hashtag good is better. What does that mean? God, everything I'm going through God is going to take that good and make it even better, even when I can't see it. And the reason I want you to type up good is better is because I want you to begin by understanding that worst day of your life is still good and being able to reflect that that's good that God is going to transform. Let me pray for us. God, we love you so much. We thank you for today. God, I especially today am just burdened for those that are sitting in the middle and crying out in anxiety. This is the worst day of my life. I just can see and my heart breaks for anyone who listens to this call who's just saying that. It's like, this is the worst day. And what I would pray is, would you show them that flicker of hope? Would your peace rest on them? Would you give them just exactly what they need in this moment to know that it's for good and it's actually for their better and their own transformation? And let them, maybe they can't see it all, but God, I just pray that just a little bit of hope would rise up in them, that even though they can't see it today, that through it they know that you are working for good for them. God, I pray just for our country, our people. I pray for, as people are recovering from this hurricane, um, people that we know that have lost homes and have lost businesses. And God, we're just praying for everyone in the affected areas. God, I thank you so much for loving us. I thank you so much for just the way that you take care of us. And I do thank you that even when we don't see it, you are working every circumstance for our good. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Have a great weekend, and I look forward to being with you guys on Monday. God bless you.